back with another Red Dead Redemption 2 video and in this one we're doing something a little bit different. We have a money glitch, all right? And this is a very very profitable money glitch, but I will say a few things before we get into this. Now, money glitches for it's not for everyone. You know, some people just want to play the game normally, legitly and just earn their money along the way. Other people would just rather have the money up front right in the beginning so they don't have to worry about it later. So, totally understandable. Uh, you know, on both sides of the coin. So I'll leave it up to you guys to decide whether you want to do this. Um, if you don't want to do the unlimited money part, then you can still collect these three gold bricks. These are actually, this is the, uh, the statue, um, little puzzle that a lot of you were asking about. So if you do want to collect these bricks, you can still collect them and not do the money glitch. Uh, that's totally up to you. But anyways, uh, this is where you actually want to go, so I'm going to show you the, the exact location on the map, but just remember this gameplay uh, so that you see where we're going. Once you see this little cavern right here, this is where you actually want to enter into. But uh, yeah, I'm going to pause right here and show you the exact location that I'm at uh, on the map so that there's no confusion about where we are, okay? And I'm also going to show you how to hit this 100% of the time because a lot of people have been struggling with this because of timing. It's all about timing. But that's where we are on the map right now, okay? So everybody can see that. That is the exact location where these statues are. So once you walk into here, yeah, you'll see all the statues. And I also want to tell you that some people are saying that the glitch works if you disable autosave. Okay, so if you pause the game, go to the settings, and you go over to general, you have the autosave feature there. Now, some people are saying it works with it off. I was able to do it with it on, okay? But I want to give you guys the option and as much of a chance to do this uh, by telling you everything you need to know. I was able to do this with autosave on and actually having an autosave uh, still in my save files, okay? So some, some of those guys were saying that you can't have anything autosave at all, but like I said, it worked for me. So I'm gonna show you how to solve this puzzle first before we actually get in to uh, doing the glitch. And like I said, guys, it's not for everybody, okay? But I'm gonna show you how to do it, and I wanna make sure that everybody can hit it 100% of the time if you are willing to do it. So here we go, this is how you solve the puzzle. You wanna face this statue, face to face, okay? And go directly to the left of the statue. Um, also, I'm not sure if this helps, but I went ahead and I inspected the statue and I just got that out of the way just to not have any weird options. So go directly to the left of the statue and you'll have a button to push right here on this statue. So you want to go ahead and push it. Now we're going to be moving right. Skip this statue and go to the next statue. So on this one, you want to go ahead and push this button and we're going to be going to the right once again. Skip this statue and hit the next statue. So we're going to push this one. Okay. So go ahead and push this one and we're gonna be moving to the right and hit the very next statue. Once you've pushed this one, you have successfully solved the puzzle, okay? Now you should get a little, you know, a little sound notification and then boom, that little door is gonna open up and you're gonna see three gold bricks in there. So that's $1,500 right there. For those of you that don't wanna do the money glitch, there's 1,500 for free right there just waiting for you, all right? But if you do wanna do the money glitch, this is what you gotta do. So pause the game before you even try to get any gold. Pause the game. Go ahead and save the game in slot one. All right, just save the game in slot one. Make a hard save right now. Okay, so once we've made that hard save, you wanna go ahead and actually start grabbing the bricks. And you wanna do it this way. So you see how I have the square option? I'm gonna hold square. I'm gonna hold it. I've collected the second bar and I'm not gonna do it yet. Now I'm gonna collect the third bar and right in the middle of that animation i'm gonna go ahead and save the game into slot two okay save the game and you got to do this fast save game into slot two and then once i've done that i'm gonna press b or circle to get out of there and go to exit game and quickly exit all right you need to do that fast now i'm just gonna go back straight into story from the main menu and it'll load me up okay i'm gonna fast forward through this little loading screen but guys, that timing right there, the first pause that I did in the middle of the second animation was not necessary, all right? That was my bad. The third pause is the one that you wanna get perfectly. That's the timing. You need to hit that right in between that animation. Anyways, once you load back up, you should see, look at that, I have three new gold bars. Those are the three that I just picked up from before. But the money glitch will actually allow us to go back and pick up three more continuously over and over and over again, okay? And normally, you know, if you save the game in the proper place, it should spawn you fairly close to your original location. I've been coming back here for a while trying to get footage for this video and testing stuff, so I kind of have it all memorized. 
but you go right back into the cavern with all the statues and if done successfully what you should see is you should see three gold bricks still there and you should be able to pick them up again and actually rinse and repeat okay and not everybody's really showing that the, the rinse and repeat is working and stuff, but I wanted to make sure and let you guys know that it is. But as you can see, there's three gold bars there, and it says that I can take more, okay? And you guys saw I had three already in my satchel. And I didn't show the inventory before that, so for those that are skeptical, I'm going to go ahead and do the glitch again. No cuts whatsoever. So I'm going to wait right here. Before I start grabbing any of the bars, I'm going to go ahead and press pause, go to story, Hit save game and I'm gonna save it into slot one just like we did before this is the whole rinse and repeat the button pushing is only once all right so now that we've done that I'm gonna get out of the pause menu and I'm gonna start collecting these gold bricks by holding down square the entire time okay so I'm just holding it down the entire time now there's one collected here's two collected and in the middle of the third one boom pause go to story and we're gonna save that game right now we're gonna save game into slot two okay accept the alert now we're gonna go ahead and back out of this menu and go straight to exit game. So you see how fast and fluid I did that? That timing has to be perfect, okay? Press okay, or press story, once you're at the main menu to load back in, and we're gonna fast forward through this once again. But like I said, no cuts. That's why I'm leaving these loading screens in here just fast forwarded. I don't want there to be any misconceptions about what's going on here. So once we've loaded in you want to go ahead and actually check your satchel right away i do it here in a few in a few seconds but i'm just going to look to see where i am on the map it spawned me a little bit farther this time but there's the location right there i'm going to set a waypoint for myself and i'm actually going to check the satchel right here so right now i'm going to look and you see that six gold bars now so three more added from before okay and once we get back you're going to see that i can actually go ahead and grab more all right i'm not going to but I actually want to touch on why a lot of people were failing at this glitch, including me, uh, which is why it took me so long to actually get the footage for this. And it's all about that timing when you press pause. And I think being quick to actually go save the game. But I just want to show you guys the proof here. So we're headed back into that same cave. And I'm going to show you guys that I can still just keep rinsing and repeating this over and over again, which is what makes it really dangerous, to be honest. Part of what makes a game great is to work for what you, you know, work for the money. And with this, there's no work. That's it. It's over. You know, you don't really have to work. You can just do bounties and do whatever you want, really. Um, so this is a bit dangerous for certain people. So I'd say be careful. Maybe just collect a few extra ones, you know, if you're skeptical about it. Uh, but I wouldn't say to get, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars. That's just overkill, really. But hey, it's up to you. Totally up to you. So this is what happens when you fail. All right. I kept this clip in here. This is what I was doing originally. Look, you see that I was collecting all three gold bars. And then I was going ahead and actually continuing with the glitch, saving it in slot two. You guys know the deal exactly what I just showed you. So this is what will happen when you actually fail. Okay. So I've done that whole part. We're going to go ahead and exit game, and I'll just skip forward through all of this real quick. But uh, when you come back, what you're actually going to see, and it's it sucks because <laughs> it's like right there, but you can't do anything about it. You're going to see gold bars there. Sometimes there's one, two, there could be three, but usually it's something weird like this, and you see I can't grab them. They're just bricked, all right? They're, it's just gold bricks that are bricked, and you can't do a thing with them, okay? Somebody was saying there's more switches behind the statues. You can try that. But I really don't think so, or I, I really didn't check myself. But I wanted this video to kind of encompass everything so you guys can know exactly how to hit this glitch. Okay, because this glitch is very simple to do as long as you hit the timing of it. Okay, it's all about that timing in the very beginning. Okay, but uh, yeah, guys, that's going to be it for me. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something. My name is Roll Easy. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative RDR2 content out. Peace.